Bruh, I've recorded this particular review like four times. Not like today, but over the course of a few weeks. And I just need to get it over with because I keep just not being happy with the footage. So while I'm talking about the products, I'm going to include clips um, throughout the video of me applying the makeup to show you application and things. And I'm pretty much wearing the same look, but it might look a little bit different from that clip. Just put that out there. Now for the fall, Skin Food has released their Plum Mellow collection and I was instantly drawn to it because it has like all of like the really juicy, plummy, bordeaux -y wine colors that I've been like craving for this season. And I definitely think that the cheek and lip products are like the stars of the show. They've released um, an eyeshadow palette. They've released uh, two lip products. They released a cheek and lip product that you, I guess you can use on both your lips and your cheeks. Skin Food is known for creating products that are based around certain food items. And for this collection, specifically in terms of colors, um, it's the inspiration was plums. I don't know if there's any plum ingredients in here, but I honestly, for me, I don't, I really don't care. We all know that I talk way too much when it comes to the product. So um, I'm going to leave timestamps here on the screen just in case you want to skip to a certain product. The first item is the Mineral Sugar Blend Eyes. And this is um, in Plum Mellow number seven because they have several mineral sugar palettes, which I'm actually really interested in because they remind me a lot of like the Stila, Stila Windows to the Eyes eyeshadow palettes. But uh, it's an eyeshadow palette that comes with six shades. You get one matte shade here. You get three shimmer, like blending shades that they call. Uh, you get a defining shade and then you get a highlighter shade here. And this retails for 21,000 won. Right off the bat, I don't really, I'm a little conflicted when it comes to this palette because I like the colors, I guess, but I have to be very careful in the way that I apply it because I actually did pretty well today. If I kind of put too much, I think, or I don't blend it properly, or I don't wear, like, already, this is already a lot of makeup for me. I like to wear a lot of makeup, but it's bordering a little bit, like, Aunt Betty to me, kind of like, you know, like the blue eyeshadow, like the pink lipstick, that kind of vibe. And at first, I think it just comes down to my eye shape. With the combination of colors like that, it's, it's a very cool toned, like, purpley palette. And I think it just comes down to with my eye shape, it almost looks like, it kind of makes me look tired. I guess that's why I say I have to be very careful in the way that I apply it. The quality of the shadows isn't anything to write home about. Uh, for 21,001, I really don't think this is worth it. Match shade is really soft and smooth, but it's not that pigmented. Um, I don't expect it to be, uh, and, but I think it's just really similar to my skin tone. If you're fairer, I think these colors would pop way more on your skin tone. Uh, the three base shadows, this one I use all over the lid and it's kind of, um, it kind of gives like a glow to the base shadow. If we're talking about like in the way that it's organized, you can wear eyeshadow however you want, but if we're talking about it based on how it's organized in this palette, this shadow right here, it kind of adds like a purpley glow to the lid. Base shadow goes all over the lid. I put this shade right here kind of on the mobile part. And then these two, honestly, to me on the lid, they kind of look a little bit similar. This one is a little bit more gray and this one has a little bit more of like a brown undertone. So I kind of just like, whatever I feel like dipping into that time, I'll just dip into that. But it really, at the end, it doesn't make too much of like a difference to me. And the last shade is kind of like the definer shade and uh, adds, um, you can probably use almost like a liner, but obviously if you want like a really crisp line, you're not, you're gonna have to use like a liner. This kind of just adds like that last bit of definition that you need, kind of like on the outer corner here and like under the lower lash line on the outer corner for me. And the highlighter, I was a little bit um, skeptical about this because it's a little bit crumbly and really chalky. If you kind of like work it into the inner, I use it for the inner corner, but if you kind of work it in, you get like a really pretty lavender glowy highlight. And I think it look, works really pretty for um, like the rest of the shadows, but it is a little bit um, chunky in terms of like shimmer and stuff. So from far away, it's like a really pretty like glow, but up close, it kind of looks chunky to me at least. The pigmentation is kind of just like, medium, it's not very strong. Um, and it's one of those ones where 
you don't really build up color by patting because sometimes there are some shadows where you have to pat with your eyeshadow brush. Um, maybe it's something like like this. You have to like pack it on. With this one, it's kind of like you just have to keep swiping and blending onto the lid so that you get the color pigment um, from off the brush onto your eye. But even then, at the end of the day, they're not going to build past maybe this. And for some people, they might like that, but for me, I don't really care for it. For me, I feel like this would look really well on people with like mono lids um, that can take kind of color, because the sh amount of shimmer in here is really, it's a lot of shimmer. And I feel like it makes my eyes look a little swollen to have all the colors to be shimmery, while the base color, which you probably don't, won't see at the end or notice it, is the only matte shade. I need more, like the sh shimmer doesn't come off too strongly once it's on the eye, but it's just, I would prefer like a completely matte shade. And if it's gonna have this much shimmer, I'd rather have it have a little bit more like pigment to it because they're not that bad, but I just feel like for 21,001, um, there are probably better options. And there is a fancy little brush here, uh, which I only really just use for this highlight because it's like the perfect size to get into the inner corners. Uh, and you probably could create the whole look using this with all these, but it's a very small brush. So although I think you can get an amazing end result with this eyeshadow palette, I don't think it's worth the 21,001. And also, I need an eye primer for it, and even with an eye primer, by the end of the day, I feel like it's kind of faded. So it, this is kind of a pass for me. I just wish... It's a shame because I really... Even if I don't reach for that, I don't have very many eyeshadow colors in this family. So it would have been nice. Mm. Next up is the Fresh Fruit Lip and Cheek. And these, uh, they have a line of fresh fruit cheek and lip products uh, that are pretty much, they're like this. I've, I've mentioned one before on my channel. For this collection, they came out with two. And I was a little confused because on the advertisement on the website, there were, it showed that there were two that were released, number six and seven. Number six is called Chadu. And number seven is called Malin Chadu. This one is six and this one is seven. You can see they're kind of similar, but this one is just more deep. So I think actually this would be amazing on medium to deep skin tones that need more like richness to colors that they put on their face. This one I find suits me just fine, but I do like enjoy using this. But this does come in uh, other shade combinations. This is basically a tin filled with poured um, cream product. And uh, you can use it on your cheeks. It's self, so self-explanatory. Uh, but I think this is one of the best bang for your buck sort of items from Skin Food because it's only about 9,000 won, which is like eight-ish dollars. But you get a lot of product in it. And these are actually really, because when I saw these, it kind of came off to me as like children's makeup almost. You know, like the little, like, oh, you, if you buy a Lisa Frank backpack, you get like this cute little lip gloss that it looks, you get like four colors, but like they're all pretty much clear lip gloss. That for some reason this product kind of came off like that to me, but these are these pack a lot of punch. Like with this color, do you see that? That's that would look amazing on deep skin tones. But they blend out really nicely, so they can you can shear them out to like a really like like a whisper on the cheek, but you can also build it up to like a really strong um, color on the face wherever you put it, whether it be your cheeks or your lips. And with it being so small and tiny and compact, it makes it really convenient for travel. Uh, I would be careful though, if you like put it in, this po in your pocket or leave it in the car, it might melt it because it is a cream product, so I'd be careful with that. But these are really hydrating, dewy, so perfect for dry skins. For oily skins, um, you I would powder your skin, definitely. Um, but it's, it's so, because it's so, such a thin product, um, I wouldn't mind putting on like my oily skin because it is so thin and I can like really sheer it out and get that color, but um, it's not gonna feel like this heavy cream thing that's on my face. And I just love the fact that these colors have a lot of like depth and like, how do you describe it? Like a lot of like richness to the color because a lot of products in Korea have colors that are quite, have a lot of like white pigment in them. So they're really bright and things. But it's really nice to see like these really rich and deep sorts of colors in makeup collections these days. 
So I definitely recommend these ones if you are looking into getting into this collection. One thing to note though is if, you, if you're gonna put on your lips, you make sure your lips are at least exfoliated because I feel like it does kind of pick up on like the dead skin. And although they do have like a lot of moisture in them, um, I don't think they're gonna do that much to moisturize your lips, but I think they actually make really great like bases for other lipsticks. So if you're doing maybe like the full lip grading sort of thing, you can put one all over the lips and then another color, because there are three colors, you can customize them. Uh, you can put one of the lighter colors on all over and then like the really deep color, like in the center, I think. Um, and if you use it both on your lips and cheeks, you kind of get like that uniformity of color. So I think this is just for the price and like what you're getting, um, I think it's an amazing product. Now there are two types of lip colors that I don't know if they already have these and then they're just adding these colors to these lines for the season, but they have the glow stick, which is a lipstick. And then they have the glow lip lacquer, which is, I think, I thought it was supposed to be like a lip gloss, but I think it's more of like a tint to be honest. So we'll get into that later. But first let's talk about the glow stick. This is just your, you know, lipstick. Like I, it's, I, I can't, there's nothing else to say about it. So with that being said, it's not gonna last you through a meal or if you're like drinking water, it's definitely gonna transfer because the finish is super glossy. Like it's a really glossy lipstick. But personally, again, like I've said, I, I really don't mind. I love like pulling out the lipstick and reapplying. And with it being cold now and my lips being naturally really dry, um, I think my lips look, look really nice with them on. When you put them on, you kind of let them settle a little bit and they kind of meld into your lips and kind of smooth everything out, which is what I really enjoy about them. And I just love all the colors in the side because they're all, again, they're all really rich and pigmented. So it's another one of those lines where I look at it and it's like, I want all the colors. Of course, I'm gonna buy all the colors because I have to review them, but this is definitely, it, I have a good feeling it's gonna be hard choosing which ones because they're all such attractive colors. There's not really any colors that, um, are like out there and wild, which, you know, those are fun and everything, but sometimes I personally enjoy it when there's just, you know, less options. Cause when there's too many, I, I don't know. Those, by the way, retail for 12,000, which is not too bad, I think. It's not too bad. And they're super pigmented. They're really smooth and really soft, but really thin. So you get like that full impact of color, but you don't, I don't feel like I have to like, and I don't feel like there's like a thick layer of lipstick on my lips. It just feels like a really thin gloss. Not thin gloss, but it feels like, it's just really thin on the lips. Right now I actually have number one from the Glow Lip Lacquer all over my lips. And then I have number five just in the center. I don't know what I had in the video of me trying, but this is what I have right now. And before I move on to the next item, these, these smell so freaking amazing. They smell, I can't put my finger, they're very fruity, but I can't put my finger on it. It gives me the same, like, I don't know, it just smells so damn good. Kind of like how the Lancome Juicy Tubes, Lancome Juicy Tubes smell. Those are so, they make you want to eat them. Next is the Glow Lip Lacquer. This one confused me a little because I thought it, from the name, I thought it was gonna be one of those like um, lip products that you kind of swipe on and you get like the effect of like maybe the I Mimi TikTok lip tints that are the glossy ones. And you got like, a really high shine sort of finish, but these are actually more like the Pony Effect Favorite Fluid Lip Tints, but more pigmented. Um, these retail for 11,000 won, so 1,000 uh, won short of the lipsticks. But you get this really nice, thin, but like long and skinny doe foot applicator. So it's really easy to reach into the corners of the lips and like draw, whether it be like a gradient or like a full lip ap application, it makes it really easy. And these are also really pigmented. Now I've only ever tried building up fully on my lips once just to see if it, I can get like that really glossy kind of, let me do it on my hand right now, let me see. It's definitely glossy. That's not a surprise, but you can definitely, you can see, you can shear it out to make it more like a lip tint. And these are actually way more long lasting than this one's because these actually stay in your lips. The lipsticks, they, they I don't feel like they really do. Maybe the, like the really deep colors in there, they cut like the red, more reddy colors, those kind of stay in your lips. But these ones will really actually like, like a tint does, will stay in your lips. As you can see, like it's only been on my hand for a few seconds, but it already stained my skin.
These also have like that same really fruity smell. Actually reminds me of Bath and Body Works. If I had to choose between the two, it, it kind of depends on like your preferences. I can see the lip lacquers being a more attractive option because they're 1,000 won cheaper and they are more like stains. And I feel like a lot of people these days aren't really into lipsticks and they're more into tints, but the lipsticks do come in more colors. For this one, my favorite one is definitely number one because it is very similar to like my natural lip color. So I can actually kind of get away with doing like a slight um, full lip gradient and my lips will look much bigger, but it still looks natural because um, it's really close to my lip, my lip color and it is quite moisturizing. So it doesn't look like lipstick on my lips. So I would definitely just recommend looking at the swatches and if you can, going into store and swatching it yourself. And then last but not least, we've got the nail colors that came with the collection. These are the Fresh Fruit Nail Polish, um, number 10, 11, and 12. Um, and they actually match the colors of the lip lacquers, which is pretty interesting. So I just love how all of, like you can buy this whole collection um, and all the colors kind of just work with each other. I think that's super attractive. But um, you guys, I'm, I don't really review nail uh, polish, but this one, uh, the first time I recorded this video, I actually put it on my nails and uh, some observations. I'm actually, one of my interests is nail art. I used to do nail art quite a bit, but I, I don't do it these days. You do need two coats. The, you can see right here that's kind of sheer, not sheer, but you can see through it. So you definitely need two coats, which is fine. Um, and number two, you do need to really wipe off the excess from the brush because the formula is so thin um, and runny that you can easily like pull the nail uh, color on like your, your finger and look at everywhere. So really wipe off the excess and only like build it up. Um, you can I, you can get full color with just two thin applications. So these retail for only 3,501. So they're super inexpensive. And um, I think they're really gorgeous colors. And um, even though they're cool tone, a lot of cool tone colors in Korea will be, the, like I said, like really white in pigment. So they'll be like really bright, but these ones are cool tone, but they're really like deep and moody. Oh my God, remember the man show, Moody. So that was the collection. Personally, I recommend everything, maybe minus the eyeshadow palette. Oh, it's such a waste because the one time that I put it on, I'm like, oh my God, it actually doesn't look that bad. I don't know. I don't know. The quality though, the colors are gorgeous, but the quality is kind of subpar for me. But the rest of the products, honey, you need to check that shit out. It's I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you need to buy it, but these are really amazing colors. Keywords, hashtag juicy, hashtag delicious. I don't know. That's really the words I can come up with with this collection because um, God, the smell, it smells so nice. And the colors are just really great for the fall. And I, I really do, I do think that um, if you have deeper skin tone, you can find colors in here that will work for you because again, there's not too much white pigment in these colors. So even the number one in the lipstick I can see this working on a much deeper skin tone and also the number seven of the lip and cheek. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.